It's a workout Wednesday, and as you can tell, Diva is ready to work out in her heels. <laughs> yes, these are the best things to wear if you're going to work out, especially if you're trying to get ready for a triathlon, something that I've never even considered doing. <laughs> Let me just introduce you to the crew here. We've got some professional athletes here who have done triathlon, so give yourself a round of applause. Woo! Yeah. We got Chuck Carter, he's a metabolic specialist and the endurance coach at Lifetime Tempe. And then we got Becca DeVries, she is the team training manager and the endurance coach at Lifetime Tempe. So they're going to give us some pointers and tips, especially if you are like just starting out and you want to do a triathlon, Tempe's a great place to do it. So we're going to start with you, Chuck. Okay. The one thing that a lot of people see is it looks like it's overwhelming, but if you break it up, it's not that bad. So tell us a little bit about this triathlon. Well, this triathlon at Tempe is, it's three different distances mm -hmm. all the way down to a super sprint, which almost anybody with a degree of fitness can complete. Okay. All the way up to an Olympic distance triathlon, which might take somebody three hours. Oh, wow. But it's, it's available for anybody that wants to get involved. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, people come to me and they say, I can never do a triathlon. That'd be me. And, <laughs> and what I say is, yeah, you probably couldn't do one tomorrow, mm -hmm. but you could do one in three months or you could do one in six months if you break the training into little pieces okay. and you work out, you build up some time tolerance and you'll be just fine. Because it seems overwhelming because they're swimming, they're running, and they're cycling. It's true. It's true. And it can feel overwhelming yeah. if you've never done it. So with like what Becca and I do, we coach triathletes mm -hmm. and we take them one step at a time through the process. If you just chunk it into little bits, it's not as overwhelming. Okay. Well, we're going to talk with you, Becca. We want to know exactly how long does this take and what is the preparation involved? Um, well, the triathlon will obviously take everyone a little bit different of time, okay. and the preparation, like Chuck mentioned, could take different time. Um, so, looking at three to six months to prepare. If three you're to looking, six months. Yep. If okay. you're looking to do the race um, this weekend, there's a couple of things you can do to prepare. Uh, Check-in is on Saturday between 12 and 5, mm -hmm. and we are going to be leading a transition clinic at 2:30. So, if you're not comfortable with transitions or just need some tips, one right. multi-sport will be out there at 2:30 at Tempe Town Lake. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the race starts on Sunday at 6.30. Transition opens at 4.45. So just to get there and get settled in, you know, you have plenty of time to get comfortable with the course, the transitions, et cetera. Well, let's talk about actually what the course involves. So how long are they running? How far are they swimming? And how much are they doing on the bike? Right, so there's different distances, like the super sprint, obviously, I believe is like a 375 swim. The sprint's a 750. And the Olympic is going to be a 1500 meter swim. Wow. Yep, and then the bike different lot. distances are all different as well. Mm -hmm. For example, the sprints will do 11, and the Olympics will be do 24. And then you'll either be running a 5K after the bike, or you'll be running six miles. Six miles. 6.2. So if someone has already done like, you know, running or they've done swimming before, so it might be a little bit more easier for them to transition into all these, or you can break it up if you had a team, right? Right, yep, you can okay. most certainly participate in a relay team as well. It's a great way to get involved if you're not ready to do the whole thing by yourself. All right, so we got about two minutes, so I want us to like maybe step off to the side, because as you can see, we got this lovely lady here, and she has not broken a sweat. She is in <laughs> shape. She is riding this bike, and this is just one of the things you can do to train to get your body loosened up. Perfect. But we also have these professional athletes who have all done triathlons, <laughs> And I have to say, I'm just impressed with you ladies. They're fit, they're beautiful, and it's something I could never do. So let's start over here. What are you going to be doing with this? Um, these ladies are going to demonstrate overhead squats. Okay. So ladies, go ahead and bring your bands up for me. Give me just a little bit of tension. And go ahead and start doing those squats for me. So they're all um, keeping their chest up beautifully. They have great mm -hmm. form here. This exercise in particular is great for opening up the chest. You know, a lot of cyclists get down to that arrow position. Mm -hmm. We want to open up the chest, activate the upper back, kind of get out of that really hinged uh, being covered triathlon. over. Yeah, yeah, as you can tell, she's really down here. So we want to open up the chest, open up the shoulders, um, and obviously strengthen those legs mm -hmm. that are going to be going lots of miles. So this is the overhead band squat. I love it. And then you see, I see weights over here. So obviously you got to have a little strength if you're going to run a triathlon. <laughs> so what are we going to be doing over here on the mat, Chuck? Okay, well, they're going to grab their weights, or you can do the exercise without a weight. So one of the things we want to talk about is that triathlon doesn't necessarily build a lot of strength. So you want to be an all-around athlete. Because it's very cardiovascular. Driven. It's 100% it's okay. cardio, so we want to be good athletes mm -hmm. as well. So what they're going to do is a lunge sequence. They're going to lunge to the front, so they're going to lunge to the front. Then they're going to twist to the right with their kettlebell. They're going to twist back to the front, okay. and then they're going to lunge back. Now they're going to go to the side to work this lateral. This motion doesn't get worked a lot in triathlon. Okay. So then they're back, again to the front, twist, and then back, and then over to the side. 
So again, these warm-ups are great to really break up the body and all that. And if you want to do this, you want to come out and cheer them on. Keep it's going, the 12th ladies. annual. It is the Lifetime Tempe Tribe, which is going to host it this Sunday, September 17th. Give you an opportunity to come out, cheer on these individuals, loosen up your body, <laughs> and maybe get your mental mindset ready so you can do a triathlon. Like Diva! No! <laughs> we'll be back with more here on Arizona. <laughs> Good job, guys.